Lucas, Luke 5. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of Yahuwah, he stood by the lake of Kinoroth and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing at their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Shimon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Shimon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a draught. Rather, nets for a draught. And Shimon answering said unto him, Rabbi, we have toiled all the night, and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fish, and their net broke. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships, so that they began to sink. When Shimon Kepha saw it, he fell down at Yahusha's feet, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Adonai. For he was astonished in all that were with him at the draught of the fish which they had taken. And so was also Eth Yaakov and Eth Yahuchanan, the sons of Zavdi, which were partners with Shimon. And Yahusha said unto Shimon, Fear not, from henceforth you shall catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. And it came to pass, when he was in a certain city, behold, a man full of leprosy, who, seeing Yahusha, fell on his face, and besought him, saying, Adonai, if you will, you can make me clean. And he put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately the leprosy departed from him. And he charged him to tell no man, but go and show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing, according as Moshe commanded, for a testimony unto them. But so much the more went there a fame abroad of him. And great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. And he withdrew himself into the wilderness and prayed. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching that there were Parashim and doctors of the Torah sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galil and Yahud and Yahushalayim, and the power of Yahuwah was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a bed a man which was taken with the palsy, and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the housetop and let him down through the tilling which rather with his couch, into the midst before Yahusha. Rather before Yahusha. And when he saw their belief, he said unto him, Man, your sins are forgiven you. And the scribes in the Parashim began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaks of blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but Elohim alone? But when Yahusha perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, what reason ye in your hearts? Whether it is easier to say, Your sins be forgiven you, or to say, Rise up and walk, but that ye may know that the Son of Adam has power upon earth to forgive sins. He said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto you, Arise, and take up your couch, and go into your house. And immediately he rose up before them, and took up at that whereon he lay, and departed to his own house, glorifying Yah. And they were all amazed, and they glorified Yahweh, and were filled with fear, saying, We have seen strange things today. And after these things he went forth and saw a publican named Levi, sitting at the receipt of custom, and he said unto him, Follow me. And he left also, rather, and he left all, rose up, 
and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his own house, and there was a great company of publicans and of others that sat down with them. But their scribes and Parashim murmured against his Talmudim, saying, Why do ye eat and drink with publicans and sinners? And Yahushua answered, rather answering, said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And they said unto him, Why do the Talmudim of Yahuchanan fast often and make prayers, and likewise the Talmudim of the Parashim, but yours eat and drink? And he said unto them, Can ye make the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. And he spoke also a parable unto them. No man puts a piece of a new garment upon an old. If otherwise, then both the new makes a rent, and the piece that was taken out of the new agrees not with the old. And no man puts new wine into old wineskins, else the new wine will burst the wineskins and be spilled, and the wineskins shall perish. But new wine must be put into new wineskins, and both are preserved. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desires new, for he says, The old is better.